Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the Adobe XD Daily Creative Challenge. I'm your host, Jesse Showalter. It is Friday and it is the final day of this challenge. It is a little bit sad, it's a little bit bittersweet, but you have to keep in mind that there's always gonna be amazing content coming up here right on Behance.net. There's gonna be other challenges and maybe even I'll be back soon. We got Sam Peterson moderating inside of the chat. Uh, we have, let me see, lots of people joining us. Uh, Saral is, this is Saral's first time doing an XD Daily Creative Challenge. That's super duper fun. What else do we have? Who else do we have here? Ahmed is in the house. El El Eloise, what a cool name. Love that name, Eloise. Hey, let me know where you're coming from and uh, give me your weekend plans because Tia Reed is saying hello to everybody in the chat. If you're watching this over on YouTube, come on over to Behance.net and join us. Just hit that little live tab and you'll be right here chatting with us. So uh, let's talk a little bit about this final day of the XD Daily Creative Challenge. What is this XD Daily Creative Challenge? Well, we have had eight challenges so far. Today is challenge number nine, last one. And if it's your first day, it's okay. You could start right now. It's okay to start with nine. You can watch all the replays of this challenge and all of the previous challenges as well. Like my homegirl, Julia Masalska was on it with the Illustrator Challenge. You can go back and watch all her replays too. She had some great ones. Uh, Saral's coming from India. Ahmed's coming from Egypt. We got people all over the world participating. And here's what we're doing each day. If you scroll down right here at behance.net slash challenge slash XD is where you can sign up for the challenge. Scroll down and get all the starting files for the challenge. You can hit right here on Get Started and that's where you can get my Adobe XD file. Uh, today, we're gonna be doing a little bit of voice trivia. Really excited about this. One. We're going to be doing using some voice commands, some audio playback, and we're going to create a fun little 8 bit uh, video game inspired trivia application. An, a good way to figure out uh, a little bit more about the XD challenge, get more involved, is to sign up for the Adobe XD Discord. You can hit this little URL right here bit.ly slash XD Discord. 36,000 creatives or more inside of this Discord server so we can find friendship, community, feedback. You just all the fun times, fun times inside of the Discord. So make sure you jump in and be a part of that. It's also where you can submit your work from the challenge and then we'll be looking at it right here on Adobe Live. We'll be checking it out on the next XD Daily Creative Challenge. And I have some pulled up that we'll be looking at at the end of this stream. So, uh, Eloise is from Brazil. We got a couple people from, from Brazil. Very, very cool. Ahmed says, finished my book. Me too. I just started a new book and I wanna kind of crush through it. It's been a lot of fun reading my new book. Hey, while we're talking about reading new books and doing things and activities, let's talk about this starting file and let's start building this game out. Over here in Adobe XD in my file, a little bit of details about it, a mobile trivia game, retro style, focusing on some 8-bit video game trivia. Who likes video games? You like video games? Raise a little emoji hand. Big fan of the video games. And we're gonna be using some voice commands to display our questions. We have a little starting file. Yours should look very, very similar. I think I actually just went out and grabbed this little Donkey Kong and this little 8-bit trophy from somewhere. I don't remember where, I apologize. But I just thought, I'm gonna need some iconography and some fun things. I think it looks kind of fun starting out. So, this is what we're gonna be doing. We have our little home screen. It's actually an iPhone 11. Did you know this? If you hit A and put a new artboard on your screen, you can just hit the little flip button over here, and that's gonna flip the artboard to be landscape or portrait mode. So that's exactly what I did. I put an uh, iPhone Max 11 on there, and I just flipped it over on its side. Pretty cool. Um, okay, uh, TSS is gonna be doing some drawing. Uh, Nati is from Mendoza, Argentina. Very, very cool. And, Angel and Angela says, watching from the UK. It's Friday evening, been totally obsessed with this challenge. My husband thinks I've gone mad. Yeah, probably have, Angela. You've gone a little crazy. You're crazy in love with XD. That's probably what happened. All right, let's get started. Uh, so what do we have uh, on our canvas so far or on our artboard? We have some icons. Let's just rename that little group right there. Icons, shall we? Very cool. Inside of it, we have our two icons. We have a little repeat grid right here that has these little 8-bit hearts and each of them are actually already a, a component. Um, so, um, and that component is made up of, of a couple of different hearts all just stacked on top of each other to give that kind of fun holographic 8-bit style. And then we have two titles right there, a new game and a high scores. And we have this fun little grid kind of like design or decoration in the background. It's just for aesthetics, just for fun, all right? 
With that being said, we're gonna have to create uh, some new artboards with some new assets. So why don't we do that? I'm gonna head right over here and I'm going to, um, let's see, let's see. Where should we start? We should start with a question, shouldn't we? Somebody should be able to press new game and go right into a question. So let's get rid of that. And I tell you what, let's go like this. Let's go level one. That's super nostalgic, right? To not call them question one, but level one, I like that. Let's put that over to the side and let's actually bring the opacity up. You have five lives in this game. That's what we're kind of going for. And why don't we ask our question right here in the color white. I'm using this fun little uh, type, uh, this this uh, font called Joysticks. I think I got it from Da Font, I think so. It's just a little free font out there for you. And then uh, Sam Peterson has posted a link to my website. Hey, check it out, I also have a YouTube channel. I just did a live stream the other day on my own channel where I built a fun shoe app using Adobe XD. So there's more content if you're interested. Um, all right, so let's do this one. Um, we're gonna ask 8-bit trivia, but it's gonna be silly 8-bit trivia. We're not gonna, if you're like, oh, I know all the Nintendo trivia, yep this might not really be very, very good for you. It's gonna be silly stuff like who wins, let's do in a, a fight, okay? That's gonna be the, the, the question asked and then we're gonna need some responses, okay? So let's do this. Let's come down here and let's put Mario, okay? And then I tell you what, I think we need to like stylize this a little teeny tiny bit, don't you? Um, okay, let's do this. We're gonna take R for rectangle. Let's make a nice big button. And, uh, ooh, this could be fun. We could have some fun with this. Let's pull our kind of fun green color. Let's save that in our swatches. Okay, let's drop it behind right there. And we're gonna make a button and I think we should stylize this button because everything's kind of 8-bit. If you're wondering, how do you stylize things and make it 8-bit? It's really just about not having perfect, you gotta have a little bit of the staggery stuff. Right? You see this inside of the typography. I don't do a lot of 8-bit design, but I'm gonna try some right now, doggone it. Um, ooh, I have an idea. Let's just do this. I'm gonna do uh, another little rectangle, okay? I'm gonna bring that rectangle up. Let's just make it a different color so we can see. And let's just square this thing out, okay? So let's make it width of 10 and a height of 10, something like that, okay? Why don't we just do these on each corner? This will probably do it, I think. This should give us that look. So we're gonna just take that and like this top left corner one and the button itself and let's use some of these uh, boolean, boolean, boolean? There you go, boolean's the, the name. Pathfinder tools and Illustrator, boolean tools, depending on where you're coming from. We're just gonna take each of these and we're just gonna subtract, which means we're gonna take anything that's in front and remove it from the back. Look, it looks a little bit more 8-bit now, right? That's kind of fun, okay. So let's take the size of this thing down. We'll do Mario, and what we need to do though is, let's line this all up and make sure it's good. Let's group it together and call it our button, and then why don't we make a component out of it and turn on the padding, what's that gonna do for us? Well, let's bring another instance out. Who should we challenge Mario to a fight with? Obviously, Peach, Princess Peach. Who's gonna win that fight? We all know who's gonna win, Peach is, because Mario's a straight wuss. Now, if it was Toad, he might win that fight. I'm not sure, just my opinion. Who do you think would win in this fight? You let me know. So we're just gonna grab both of them, line them up. Who wins in a fight? Is it Mario, is it Peach? We got full lives, we're on level one, okay? Now, we wanna have two screens. And we might only get these next two screens done and then do a little prototyping. But what we want to do here is we want to have a correct screen uh, or we want to have a fail screen. Victory or defeat, correct or incorrect, right? So let's do that really quick. Why don't we bring this down here and let's just do correct like that, okay? Make it really big. We can probably get rid of our buttons at this point. Or actually, why don't we do this? Peach is the winner, right? So why don't we just... Aha, we'll just do something like that. Peach is the correct answer. And then I'll tell you what, since it was correct, why don't we put our little trophy back on top? That'll be fun, right? Boop, 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 just like that. Um, all right, correct, and good. Now we can, you could imagine, this is gonna be our, our 
correct screen. Okay, this is gonna be, let's name this our question screen. And then we're gonna do one more. Let's just put it above. Okay, this will be our incorrect screen. And let's just bring little Donkey Kong, little Diddy Kong over here. And let's put him in the place of where that trophy was. Okay, but this time let's bring that back up. Bring this down and let's change the fill of this to be an incorrect color, like red, right? Or you know what? We might want to stay stylized and just take that pink. Ah, that's not good. We want it to be really obviously incorrect. Good, okay. Um, what color is that? What color is that red? Why don't we save that swatch right there, okay? And why don't we make this one that color as well? Boop, just like so. Good, correct or incorrect? Beautiful, I love it. Um, and I'll tell you what, I'll tell you, yeah, let's just keep them. Okay, now let's do a little bit of prototyping because here's what's gonna happen. Uh, this is incorrect. We gotta make one more change here, which is we're gonna need to take this heart. Whoa, yeah, we're gonna need to take this heart right here and bring all of them down whoop, like that, like you lost all the hearts, okay? Or you lost, you lost one heart. So now you're one down out of your five, okay? Um, this is a fun challenge, Kyle T. Webster says, hey, stay stay tuned, or maybe stay tuned. I actually don't know the schedule, but Kyle T. Webster's been doing some really fun drawing. So you've been drawing along with Kyle T. Webster all week. So maybe stay tuned for him. Let me know if I'm wrong about that, Kyle. I apologize, but I'm not sure. Here we go. Let's start implementing some sounds. And we're gonna do something really, really cool, which is not only are we gonna use voice, but we're also gonna use tap, because maybe somebody doesn't wanna use voice and they prefer to use tap. Let's do both. Let's head over to prototype, shall we? And here's the first fun thing we're gonna do. I have a little surprise for you. I'm gonna select the whole artboard, not an individual element on the artboard, but the whole artboard. And I'm gonna tap the prototype. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, I want, uh, let's see, timed, and I want uh, a audio playback. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a new file. We got some fun music here. How about some video game music? And it has a zero second delay, so it's gonna start instantly. That's just a little timed function for us. Let's see if I can turn my volume up and hear some music, ready? Just some little chopping, just some fun little video game, 8-bit music. And that's just gonna play and it's gonna loop, it's gonna do its thing. Now, we wanna add, let's add a tap here. So our tap is gonna head over to level one. Okay, question one, level one, so on tap. Let's just do a simple transition, shall we? I mean, we don't have to get all auto animate always. Sometimes a simple transition works. We're gonna head over to question, that's our destination there. And then we wanna just slide left. Let's just slide on over, right? We're gonna do a little snap with our slide. And I tell you what we're gonna do, the same thing. We're gonna grab our entire artboard. We're gonna click right here. I have some fun sounds. What other sounds do I have? I have Ooh, hold on, is my volume back up? Let's try that sound again. What do we have? I got a little kind of distortion snap. I got, I have my wind sound and I have my lose sound. So how about we come over and we'll add our distortion in here. We are doing a uh, time transition, zero seconds, audio playback. Let's add that new sound and it's our distortion sound effect. Just like so, let's check our prototype, see how that's working. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna tap right here. Ooh, a little snap distortion right into the game. And now we're ready to pick up from there. Now, let's add a second prototype trigger on top of the same one, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit another one and we're gonna do voice. And we wanna put the word new game. If you haven't done a lot of voice triggers, this is gonna be your first time, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, and let's see, voice trigger. And on that, we want to transition over to question. And we'll just do, again, a simple slide left and snap, and it should be pretty good. Now, when we go here, I'm gonna turn the sound down just a little bit. We should be able to either tap it or hold down our space bar to recreate the feeling of speaking to our device. We'll say the word new game, we'll see if it works. Okay, let's try this. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna lean in to my computer because that's where we have to do it. Ready? I'm gonna press space bar. New game. It worked. 
we said the word new game and it completely worked for us, we could have also just tapped new game and it would have gone right over to our, our little thing there, okay? Um, here we go. Uh, Pradma says, I'm a great mentor. Thank you for that, Pradma. I appreciate it. Cornell says, good old Zelda. That is kind of those little ticking and the music is kind of Zelda-ish, isn't it? Okay, we got to speed this thing up. We don't have very much time. Let's, while we're here, uh, we are, are going to go ahead and add, let's add our correct and incorrect prototypes to our other ones. So this is not correct. This is gonna be our artboard called incorrect. Okay, we're gonna add that uh, timed trigger, zero second delay, audio playback. Let's add a new one. It is gonna be our incorrect, our failed sound. And let's do the same thing down here with our correct one, shall we? Boom, time, boom, audio playback. Add that new file and let's go. This is small win. This is our correct sound, okay? Now, let's do our, let's hook these things up. So let's say we tap Peach, that's gonna be correct. That's gonna lead us down here. And we wanna do uh, on tap, let's just do a basic transition. Doesn't need to do auto animate, although we could come back in and do some serious fun auto animating with this thing. I just don't have time today. We wanna go to correct and we wanna dissolve in with a little bit of snap. I'm not sure what snap will do to dissolve in but that should work just fine. And then we'll do it the other way. Boom, we're gonna tap, transition to incorrect, dissolve in with a snap, and now it should work. And I'll tell you what, when we're here, why don't we just be able to start our game over, okay, by pressing level one. We probably should have a start the game over button, but that's okay. We're just gonna hook both of these back up right there, and let's start our prototype again and see how it works. Tap right here. Good, let's try Peach. Ooh, I'm gonna turn that up. I'm gonna go back, let's do it again. I'm gonna tap our new game. Good, Peach. Oh, very good, we scored a point. Let's go back and try it again. New game, Mario? No, not Mario. <laughs> It's Mario obviously got his butt kicked there, okay? So we have another minute or two, so why don't we add also the voice prompts onto those buttons as well? You know why? Because why not? We're gonna hit Peach. Ooh, excuse me. Let's hit Peach just like that. We're gonna do a voice and we're gonna say Peach. Auto animate now. Let's just do the transition to correct with all the stuff we had. Now you'll notice, look, we have multiple interactions on that one trigger, right? We have tap and we have voice. So it's listing all of them out. All right, that's pretty cool, pretty fun. Um, okay, Kyle saying this is a fun challenge, gotta explore XD more. You really do, Kyle, it's a lot of fun. You can build some really fun stuff. The, just let your mind flow, okay? Sorrel says, my energy's amazing. I have had some coffee, sir. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've had me some coffee. So we're gonna go correct, dissolve, boom, just like that. Let's do the same thing over here. Voice, but this time we're gonna say, Mario. I there's a part huge part of me right now that wants to do my best Mario impression. Probably going to save you guys. Probably not going to do it though. Here we go. Um if I get an overwhelming number of thumbs ups, maybe I'll try my Mario impression. Uh let's go to the incorrect one for choosing Mario, dissolve snap, everything should be good. Now we should be able to not only tap them, but we should also be able to um we should also and and you know what? I'm thinking just this this makes more sense that it should go not to home, but back to the question so you could retry it again. Don't you think? I think so too. Boom, to the question. Okay, now we should be able to tap and we should be able to do voice triggers for all these things. So let's try it, ready? Um, I'm just gonna do one little cheat sheet to get me back there. I'm just gonna go back by pressing my hearts. That'll get me back to my home screen, okay? Here we go. So we got a little sound happening. I'm gonna try to say it, ready? New game. It works. Let's try saying the word peach. Peach. Ah, correct. Why don't we hit our level one? Go back. Mario. No, not Mario. Also, the actual tap triggers work as well, which is pretty fun. And then we can always hit our stars or our hearts to go right back to our home screen. Come on, let's go. That's good times. 
Uh, Pratmoss says, will Jesse be the mentor of upcoming XD challenges? Possibly. Stick around. But let me tell you something. Behance and Adobe, we, they got tons of great mentors, right? Kyle T. Webster's in the house. Sam Peterson's in the house. He does some of them. Julia, my homegirl, Julia Masowska over on Illustrator. Claudie was hosting uh, some stuff with Naoma earlier, like in the week. Lots of amazing, talented creatives um, here on Behance. So always check us out. With that being said, hey, let me know what your thoughts are of this challenge. And while you're letting me know, um, I'm going to kick over and look at some of the submitted work. Right, let's do that. I don't know what happened to my Discord. I'm gonna bring it back up. Uh, this is from Pradma SS. This one was submitted yesterday uh, for the day eight uh, challenge. This was the shorts um, application. Nice little animation, just like we did in the challenge there. And you actually took the time and you, uh, oh, got an extra little filter button. Come on now, Pradma crushing the game apply those filters love it if i would give you any sort of feedback because i always i always appreciate feedback i love the little search button there good overlay love it i would just watch for your spacing and your sizing of iconography make sure that they're all a similar uh width and stroke and weight right so we see these oh i'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you so this little cart button right here a cart icon's really thick in comparison that's just a consistency thing it helps with the experience and makes it feel nice but i love the animation i love the work it's really really nice keep up that good work uh this one is from ahmed so, who I think is also in the chat and just gave lots of thumbs up. He wanted to hear a Mario impression. Ha ha! It's Mario! That's me doing it that way because I'm too embarrassed to face the camera while I do it. Here we go. Uh, welcome to Book Haven. Okay, let's see what we got. I'm gonna click go. Very nice. Into the interface. Oh, I see you got a little animated thing there. This is kind of building off of our shorts challenge, but you did it with books instead. Really love it. The, the only maybe feedback I would give you, because I think all the animations and everything are working really, really well in this, I would watch out for contrast and legibility. So let me just go back and point out what I mean here with this. And this is always a good kind of design principle to, to, to keep in mind for all of your design work. So the, the books that are here have the same book in the background, just like we did with the shorts, but they're a little too overpowered. So you maybe wanna knock down some of that, uh, give it a little opacity, bring that opacity down so that we can focus more on the book here and not necessarily the texture or pattern or image in the background. So maybe play a little bit with that. I think books have so much um, so much interesting stuff on the cover. You can read a book or judge a book by the cover when it comes to actual books. So they're so interesting. You might want to just, instead of having the background image, maybe just do the book. Um, and, and that might be enough maybe, but I think really nice work, really good stuff. This one's by Mo and Mo did, uh, the same thing. The shortsy app yesterday got a nice little animated thing happening there. He adds some more details to look at that, being able to change the size. Nice animated button, I love that. It's definitely a component state animation, beautifully done. I would, uh, if I was gonna give any sort of constructive criticism or feedback here, I would say watch out for these areas that I'm not sure if that is a button um, because it looks very similar to your input field. So input fields should look like input fields, buttons should look like buttons, and they should look distinct from each other. Keep that in mind, that'll help just lead the user and guide the user on a much more beneficial journey. They'll enjoy their time in your interface so much more, but the animation, super sick. The extra details, the animation to the component and the button, so nice, I love it. It's really, really good. Nice work, everybody. Well. With that being said, I just want to flash this one up there one more time. Make sure that you sign up for the Discord, bit.ly slash xddiscord. Make sure you get inside of that community. Post your work so myself, other mentors, and people at Adobe can take a look at it. Thank you so much for joining me for these last two weeks of the Adobe XD Daily Creative Challenge. It has been a ton of fun. Thank you, Cornell, for being here the whole time. Ahmed, Sarel, and Mo for your great work. Tiago and uh, Sam Peterson for moderating. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Um, Oh yeah, maybe maybe Mo change it to an outline. Just have it be nice and subtle on that input field. That look really really nice. Um, Sir all says my impression was amazing. It might have been. I don't know. I probably won't do any more though. I'm not really big on doing that. 
<laughs> but like Sam Peterson just posted in the chat, look for those links, sign up for the challenge, and there's amazing content every week here on Behance. So definitely stick around for some more stuff, more great stuff happening today. And then coming bright and early Monday morning, there'll be more challenges for you to take part in. With all that being said, aloha, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend. Have a little bit of relaxed time and challenge yourself to design some amazing things. See you next time.